My search for the perfect vitamin C serum has been well documented on here. And whenever I told you guys about why my latest acquisition hadn't quite lived up to my admittedly high expectations, there was one that was recommended over and over. The Geek and Gorgeous 101 C Glow Serum. So when Moose, hi, finally told me that Geek and Gorgeous is in fact a Hungarian brand and even has a German website, I didn't wait any longer and immediately placed an order for the serum and two other products, both of which have already been reviewed on here. But back to the serum. Is it the one I have been looking for? Hi, I'm Dr. Anne. I'm a medical doctor with a passion for skincare that works. On this channel, we explore the science behind skin and do quick reviews, so you learn to pick exactly those products that work for your individual skin concern. So if this is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing and ring the notification bell. What the Geek and Gorgeous 101 C Glow Serum claims. A super light, water-like 15% vitamin C plus extra antioxidants, ferulic acid and smaller amount of vitamin E formula to give the skin environmental protection, boost collagen and even the skin tone. What differentiates this serum from most others I've tried is the color. It is absolutely clear, while other vitamin C products often have a slight like, yellow tint. As background, ascorbic acid is pretty unstable, and when it oxidizes, it turns yellow. This is how you can tell that it is losing its efficacy. A product that has turned a deep yellow probably no longer has a lot of vitamin C still active. Many brands already give their creation a slightly yellow tint to mask the oxidation that inevitably takes place once the product goes on the shelf. As the Geek and Gorgeous Sea Glow Serum is made fresh on order, there is minimal oxidation once the product arrives, as opposed to a product that has been sitting on the shelf for a little while already. The texture is very watery and I do not notice a particular scent, although my sister claims her hands smell a little funky after application. How to use the Geek and Gorgeous 101 C Glow Serum. I prefer to use my vitamin C serums in the mornings to get the most out of the antioxidants effect, but using it at night is of course possible as well. Against common belief, it can be paired with most other substances. I talk more about that here. So whatever fits your routine best. As it is very watery, I put around half a pipette in my hands, swipe them and then pat it all over my face. Geek and Gorgeous 101 C Glow Serum Ingredients Other than 15% ascorbic acid, which is, as far as we know, the most effective concentration, it contains ferulic acid and vitamin E. Both are antioxidants on their own, but also serve the purpose of stabilizing the ascorbic acid in the formula, so it is quite a common combination. How does it compare to the Pixie Vitamin C Serum? I've used two bottles of the Pixie Vitamin C Serum and sadly both did oxidize within six-ish weeks, despite me very diligently keeping the bottle in the fridge and in the dark. Compared to other products, that is about average, but even with daily use means I have to discard around one-third of the bottle every time, which feels wasteful. Pixie doesn't disclose the percentage of vitamin C used and uses quite a few extra ingredients like plant extracts, antioxidants, humectants and fermented ingredients. It even has retinol listed, but probably in a very low concentration. Which one you prefer comes down to what you want. Do you want a one-step serum that does a little bit of everything and plan on using it twice a day? Then Pixie might be the better option. Bonus, it smells like citrus lemonade. If you want a freshly made no-fuss vitamin C serum with the focus on exactly that, the vitamin C, Geek and Gorgeous is the one for you. How does it compare to the Inky List vitamin C? The Inky List version is different both in texture, it's a silicone lotion which keeps it stable, and in concentration, as it uses 20%. As it is often the case in skincare though, more isn't necessarily better, with 15% apparently being the sweet spot after which the uptake capacity of the skin is reached and the irritation risk increases rather than the effectiveness. My skin, sometimes a little sensitive due to tretinoin, had no issues with the Geek and Gorgeous version, but the one from the Inky List was too strong. I had to mix it with a hydrating serum, which is why I never repurchased. 
My final thoughts on the Geek & Gorgeous Siglo Serum. The long search is over. I have finally found a vitamin C serum that does exactly what I want. It has the recommended concentration of scorbic acid, it is formulated in a way that keeps it stable over the course of the three and a half months it took me to fully use it up, it doesn't irritate my skin, has a pleasant texture and keeps my skin bright and even. Yes, I will stray for a testing reason, it's hard for me to be faithful in skincare, but I can assure you this one will be my number one for a long time. Over to you. Have you found your one vitamin C serum already? And if you did, could I convince you to take a chance on this one instead? Tell me in the comments below. I'm going to link to more videos on the screen now that I think you might enjoy and I'm going to see you all very soon with another one. Bye!